Good morning. We welcome you to Lent Devotionals uh, this morning with Pastor Dan, and we're looking at uh, a New Testament gospel, the Gospel of Luke. Uh, we're looking at the 12th chapter, and we're looking at verses 13 through 15. Someone in the crowd said to him, Teacher, tell my brother to divide the family inheritance with me. But he said to him, Man, who appointed me a judge or arbiter over you? And he said to him, Beware and be on your guard against every form of greed, for not even when one has an abundance does his life consist of his possessions. This individual shares, lately as they had been skimming financial advice books, they noticed an interesting trend. While almost all such books have good advice, many imply that the primary reason to cut costs is to live like millionaires later. But one book offered a refreshingly different perspective, arguing that living simply is essential for a rich life. If you need more or fancier stuff to feel joy, the book suggested you're missing the point of being alive. Those insightful words brought to mind Jesus' response when a man asked him to urge his brother to divide an inheritance with him. Instead of sympathizing, Jesus dismissed him abruptly before warning sternly about all kinds of greed, because life does not consist in an abundance of possessions. He then described a wealthy person's plans to store his crops and enjoy a luxurious lifestyle, the first century version of retiring the retirement planning with a blistering conclusion. And his wealth did him no good since he died that very night. Although we're responsible to use our resources wisely, Jesus' words remind us to check our motivations. Our hearts should be focused on pursuing God's kingdom, knowing him and serving others, not on securing our own futures. As we live for him and freely share with others, we can fully enjoy a rich life with him right now, even in the midst of a Lenten season, in the kingdom that gives meaning to all of us and our lives. Pray with me. Lord, thank you for all that you've so generously provided. Teach us how to enjoy what you've given and to share it with others. Help us to rest in you. Amen.